Hey you, it's Jess here and we're doing a plan with me for the week of June 20th to the June 26th. Uh, and I'm using this kit from Caress Press called Campfire and also some silver foil, a dragonfly um, bundle and also some extras from Scribble Prints Co. to have some less of the dragonflies. Um, but I'm using this kit this week because it is a week of midsummer um, or Johannes here in Finland. Uh, you probably know <laughs> midsummer from the film about, you know, celebrating in Sweden, but uh, I think all of the Nordics and a few other places celebrate Midsummer, which they do here. <clears throat> it's usually a pretty big weekend where just everyone disappears. Although apparently this year a lot of people stayed in the cities and didn't actually go to the summer cottages. Um, so, yeah, but we don't, obviously we're new here. <laughs> We've never done those things, so we just stayed home. But I wanted to use this kit because when I did this art, I was thinking about... Um, like I knew I, I wanted to do a summer camping kit. There's a lot of camping kits I see that have been released as sort of autumn or even winter. So I wanted to do a summer camping kit. Excuse me. Um, but I took a lot of inspiration from Finnish summer and Finnish midsummer, especially because, you know, you have the little bonfire going and sort of more of a Finnish um, scene of nature, like at the lake. So that's why I decided to use it for this week, because I kind of intended to use it this week. <laughs> Not that I was going anywhere. I don't like camping anyway, so... Um, we're going to do our usual color blocking, and I decided to put the dark green as the single um, column, just because we do have it in the 15 millimeter, and um, just to make the, the spread a bit more light and airy. And... Um, yeah, I don't know if like silver was 100% the foil to use for this, but I don't know, I think it worked out fine. I mean, silver kind of goes with all of them, right? It's very neutral. And of course, I had to get that double scene in there. Ah, so pretty. And um, so what else? So this week, uh, actually the end of the week, midsummer brought about much hotter weather. It was pretty cool for most of the week, but now we are firmly in the 20s. Or as I think, I think in Fahrenheit, if I remember correctly, it's like 77 or something. So it's been warm at the end of this week. So you'll see in the weekend, I mark, you know, it being hot. And on midsummer itself, um, we did put the air con on for the first time. We just have like a portable air conditioner, so that you can like wheel around. <laughs> so we put that on for the first time in midsummer. Um, the generally you celebrate on Midsummer Eve and it's like the longest day of the year. And I think Helsinki had 19 hours of sunlight on, um, Midsummer Eve. And I, um, luck told me at 6am there were drunk people singing <laughs> downstairs. So I think you kind of party all night, really. I'm just putting in the bougie boxes here. But what else happened this week? Hmm. I mean, you'll see in the day by day. <laughs> but right now, I'm doing the voiceover and it's Tuesday of the next week, so this video will go up tomorrow that I'm doing this. And it's just still warm. I just turned the aircon off to do this video, <laughs> this voiceover. And then I'm going to turn it back on again. Um, and it was really hard to uh, film a lot of this during the week, so I actually finished the spread off. Uh, yesterday on Monday because um, it was a public holiday obviously on Friday for Johannes and we'd ordered a little a pillow fan for my desk so while I'm filming I can have some air on me um, and that came on Monday so I was able to finish my spread then and uh, it is so much better to plan with the fan I just like to have my head cool you know what I mean <laughs> So now we're just going to, I just put all the deco up the top and now I'm going to put the overlays on. And um, I'm not going to use all of the dragonfly overlays. Uh, I did bring out that box, the page of four full boxes from Scribble Prince Co. and I will use all four of those. 
so I'm just using those now. Um, but I did want to do sort of a minimal foil look for this week because um, I was really happy with this art and I really wanted to show it off. I apologize if you can hear a truck in the background. I'm probably going to put the new um, Final Cut Pro added a new AI version of noise reduction, so I'll probably put that on my voiceover after this because there's a truck outside. Of course, as soon as I start doing voiceover, but here's the shine. I feel like it's silver is the hardest shine to see in my opinion, especially while filming, especially my setup, which um, had to be a little janky these days, and I apologize for that, but um, it's because I had to move where my um, like tripod arm is for my camera, so now I'm filming on one more side of my desk rather than right in the center. So it's put my lights off a bit, and I did work out a method that I think works okay, <laughs> but um, it's still not perfect, especially with showing foil anymore, but you live with what you got. Uh, I still think it looks okay. Here I am looking for a script for Midsummer because I did have um, some Midsummer, um, well, some Nordic holidays from Rose Colored Days, but they're a bit old now. Um, but I did find, <laughs> it's cut off though, that I found I still had a black version of Midsummer, but I didn't have a silver one anymore. I'm going to have to think of what else to do if I want holiday stickers for my Nordic holidays because um, I don't really have any left. <laughs> Uh, and I feel like Midsummer is one of those that I'll always put in because it's like, it's not religious or anything, although it is the summer solstice, so if you celebrate that, then that's that. <laughs> um, but here I am looking at my seasonal stickers, my summer and spring, and I decided to bring in the sun from Once More With Love, actually in my June monthly, which I don't think I filmed, I used... I want some more love sun as well, so I had one on each two sheets. So I was able to use it again because, you know, Midsummer is all about super long sun. It was kind of funny because I was it the 21st or 22nd in, in America is considered first day of summer, whereas the 25th is considered midsummer <laughs> here. <laughs> um, in Australia, and I think here actually as well, the seasons start on the first of the calendar month so we go by calendars so um summer started the first of june which i still have to put into my head that's not the first of winter <laughs> um i still am not used to swapped uh hemispheres but nonetheless i digress <laughs> we're gonna get started on the day by day now and i just put in my sidebar finish strawbs because we got um, some strawberries and some blueberries this weekend. We've been waiting for the finished ones to be available. A lot of the berries so far this season have been um, Dutch. We finally found some finished strawberries in the shops so that was awesome. They were so tasty. You'll see what I did with them during the weekend but I wanted to mark that I had finished strawberries this weekend I had that strawberry sticker from Paper Shire, so why not? Now, but on Monday, we got our usual Coffee Monday. Um, I had a sticker hole go up, and then I did a bunch of cleaning. Cleaned everything. <laughs> Monday is often a very big cleaning day. Not yesterday, because it's hot. But this is when the weather was still okay. Oh, now I can hear the neighbors. All the noise is just starting up, just when I want to do a voiceover. <laughs> just let me do my work in peace. Anyway. Um, just waiting for Jess to hurry up. Oh, I put a TV in. What were we watching? The Simpsons. Oh yeah, we've been watching a lot of The Simpsons this week. <laughs> it's just our like, go-to like show to put on. You don't have to pay too much attention to it. And we still love The Simpsons, so. Uh, and then I did some drawing, and then I was finishing up my book, Rhythm of War. I actually finished it on Tuesday. And this is the fourth book in the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. 
It's actually the last he's written so far for this series. He's just started number five, but it's probably not going to be out till the end of next year or even the start of the year after. Now, oh, well, so it's a bit sad, like, because I've been reading them one after the other, all four of the books, and they're long. So it's a bit sad that it's all over. I'm going to miss my characters until the next book because I love them so much. They're my babies. My babies. I think my favorite character, though, is more of a side one pattern. He's hilarious. Um, I finished that up on Tuesday. I do put that in a half, like a squared off box at the bottom because I think I had five hours left that day and I just, I just sat there and read it. <laughs> in my audiobook as per usual, but yeah, once you get to like the last six hours of a Brando book, you just, you can't stop. You just have to keep reading <laughs> because all the stuff happens and it's so good. So I really enjoyed that. So now I'm back on, um, You'll see on Wednesday, I'm back on reading the Era 2 of Miss Born, which is Wax and Wayne, because I uh, stupidly read the third book in that series uh, instead of reading 1 and 2. It was a whole miscalculation on my part, but now I barely remember that book, so now I've gone back to number 1. I'm going to read those three again, and then in November, the fourth and final book of that series is coming out, again by Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> So I want to catch up so I can read that new book in November, because I pre-ordered it. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm reading now. After finishing Rhythm of War, but uh, on Tuesday I did my nails. It's like the set you're seeing, seeing here now, which is like jelly glitter, and then over the top I put... So there were jelly glitter colors in orange and pink, and they're very sheer, and I came with um, transparent... Uh, sticker design with the graffiti on it so I decided I would just layer the graffiti stickers over the top of the pink sheer ones and I think they look really good layered um, that's the thing with Dashing Diva that I found that if there's a design that they do that's a transparent sticker you can just layer it over other stickers um, and then you get a really cool different looking nail uh, especially if you're like me and you don't really like the transparent look because I don't really want to see my natural nails, <laughs> to be honest. So that's what I did there on most of those. I think it looks fun. You know, it's a summer nail. Um, and then we ordered Arnold's, which is the donut place here. And they have um, like a summer, I think it's sparkling water, but they've added cherry flavoring. So it's like a cherry soda. And we ordered that and it was so tasty. And of course, good donuts. I did more drawing. I actually finished up my rainy day set that day um, that I released on Thursday. Or I released on Wednesday, actually. I couldn't be bothered waiting. <laughs> and I did the listings and everything on Tuesday. So now we're trying to get Wednesday done. Try to pick, like, where do I, where do I want my boxes to go? Um, so the first thing I think is my plan with me that went live. Was that for the A-tier, SBC A-tier kit? I think so. I think this, um, Clever Girl Craft Heart is a pretty good match for the Tuesday color, which is cool. And then I just put my Rainy Day set released, and I have that custom script from Andrea that she kindly made for me for Kindish Girl new release. And then I used a Paper Shire Autumn journaling sticker because I kind of like the idea of um, putting a sticker that corresponds with what I released. So I released like an Autumn art set, so I thought that worked well for that. And then uh, we got Fat Ramen, or yeah, it was ramen for lunch. Oh yeah, on Tuesday I also did a voiceover, but you know, like what I'm doing now. <laughs> Um, so we got that ramen. Now there's people outside. Hopefully I can, like, take these out <laughs> of recording. Oh, yes, and then Disney Plus finally, well, Disney Plus Finland finally added Gallivant because that's one of our favorite shows of all time. I haven't watched it in so long because it was never on anything. But now Disney Plus has Gallivant, so we binge watched that over three days. Oh, it's so good. I love Galavant. If you're interested in like 
It came out during Game of Thrones, so they're sort of parroting that. So it's like a medieval fantasy, but it's also a musical and it's hilarious and I love it. And then we have McDonald's and I started The Alloy of Law, which is that book. And it's cool because it, the book is like it's 300 years after the original Mistborn, which is kind of medieval fantasy. And now this one, it's more like Victorian gunslinger. So now there's guns as well as the fantasy magic system. And I think that's really interesting. Um, the cities are very Victorian <laughs> and, you know, that's cool. And he's like a, a lawman. Um, so that is fun and it's very silly and they're a lot shorter, I feel like, than his other books. So easy to digest, but you probably have to read era one of, um, Mistborn because there's a lot of references, you know, it's only 300 years later, so... Thursday I put I was tired AF, like my eyes stung all day long, it was terrible. And then I just put that I play with stickers because I pulled the stickers so far for the week um, for this plan with me. And then um, I, oh, I just put pay rent because <laughs> I didn't have a lot to put on Thursdays. I don't know what it is about Thursday, but every Thursday I have literally nothing to put in my planner. It's ridiculous. Um, but I did put Karaz, which is a, I think it was, what country is it? I don't think it's Syrian. It might be a Syrian restaurant, but, oh no, yes? I can't remember, I'm sorry. Um, they had a really delicious meal of, um, steak with a cherry sauce, and the cherry sauce was so yum, and then they had a dessert, um, that was like a rose water rice pudding with um, Persian candy floss or fairy floss and it was so tasty. Oh my gosh. I say fairy floss in Australia but in America it's cotton candy. But we call it fairy floss but it was a Persian version of it so it's like like strings. Anyway, that rice pudding was so delicious. And then our new mattress for our bed was delivered because... So we've been living for the past almost four years with our current mattress and um, Locke kind of bought it by themselves. <laughs> like I wasn't in the country when they bought it and um, basically got one that's 20 centimeters too wide. So we're always messing about with the mattress because it was always too wide for our bed, um, which is fine here because it's a thin mattress. It's not like a box spring kind of mattress, but anyway. We finally like, you know what, we're, we're here for the long haul, um, we, we know a place where we have like a lot of other big waste we need to get rid of, like our old rug and microwave and stuff. So we finally ordered the pickup for it, like it's a recycling waste pickup, to pick up our old mattress so we could buy a new one. That's the right size for our bed. So we have that now and it's really comfy. It's like a memory air foam and, um. Yeah, so that was delivered Thursday, although we just had it, like, sitting out to repuff itself um, for a couple of days, and then we put it on the bed on Friday, and yeah, it was really good. And then I just read more of my book, and then Luck had a grocery run on Friday morn, so we got, like, the berries, and I was doing some tidying up, doing some boxes and stuff, just working on cleaning everything, <laughs> And then I did some laundry. Friday was a very domestic morning. So I'm putting those in. I love those new scripts from SPC. They just, they work for me. <laughs> um, then what else? What else happened on Friday? All right, so a lot of strawberries and I made, I baked a vanilla cake and then I whipped up some fresh cream with a little bit of powdered sugar, so it's like a sweetened cream. And then we just had the the strawberries on top of the cake, and it was delicious. Literally looked a lot like the cake sticker from Paper Shy that I used there. So tasty. We've been playing around a bit more with cakes because we got a six inch pan, so it's super tiny. It's great for two people. But yeah. It was a delicious cake, really good. Um, it was a vanilla cake recipe that had sour cream in it, 
And I highly recommend that. It does make it really good and tasty. And then Mod Galavan again. I was using Disney Prince stickers um, from Once More With Love because obviously I don't have Galavan stickers. And this one I used, um, gosh, what's that name from Hunchback of Notre Dame? It's been so long since I watched it. Uh, but I just used her because it made me think of Isabella in Galavant. And then I did some filming and listened to my book. And then Saturday was hot AF on Midsummer, so I just used that air conditioning munchkin. And then I just do in the least from Ice Cream Joe because we really didn't do much. It was too hot. We're just lying around. Like right now, I can't wait to end this uh, voiceover so I can put the air gun back on because I am sweaty. Oh well. Uh, then what else did we do on Saturday? <laughs> oh, and then Lark also bought blueberries and we made, um, we had a jelly, or as Americans call it, jello. Um, we call it jelly. <laughs> we made a, uh, a bowl of jelly because we had a packet that was going off soon. So we made the jelly and then we had leftover whipped cream from the cake the day before. So we put jelly, whipped cream, and blueberries together as another dessert and it was so tasty. Um, and we also had, was that us having friends and burgers that day? which is like a fancier burger place. And I just used that um, blueberry porridge or oatmeal sticker from SPC because I just didn't have anything else that had blueberries. <laughs> um, so I marked that to do blueberries and jelly and cream. And then of course we watched The Simpsons and I read my book. So that leads us to Sunday. I really did nothing this weekend, but I feel like I'm supposed to do nothing on Midsummer, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> trying to give myself myself these times off just to like ward off burnout, you know? And also summer is my worst season. I know people who love summer and in winter they have sad seasonal affected disorder, but I'm pretty sure I probably have the opposite sad, which is a thing um, where the sun and heat make you depressed instead and yeah I really don't like summer I just can't function at all I just want to uh, hide in the coolness until autumn comes so I don't get a lot of work done honestly in summer it's just blah too sad um so I'm just trying to give myself give myself that time to be like it's okay to chill and um, everyone is flexible in your life, so it's fine. <laughs> so because I used that sticker that said so hot, I put the sticker from Andrea's um, script, uh, which is I'd rather die because, yeah, please no to more summer. <laughs> I mean, this is why I moved also to Finland. One of the reasons was it's not as hot here, but in Australia it's hot for so long. Um, and then we cooked a breakfast for lunch. So we had some bacon and we had eggs and toast and beans, like, um, like British baked beans and some fried tomato. Delicious English breakfast. And then I just put lazy AF for this day and I used a little melty animal from What's What I Love because that was me. And I thought it was just funny because it went along with being like, like, um, hot lazy. <laughs> And it's so cute. And it goes with the spread, I think. Um, that's why I bought the melting animals for summertime. <laughs> and then I think the end of the day is probably my book, The Alloy of Law. It's almost done, so... Oh, well. And then we had... Oh, even though it was hot, we decided to order Cantipo, which is Indian. So I got butter chicken and, I don't know... Indian just works during the hot, the heat. I mean, it's hot there, so. And we watched The Simpsons, and then we decided to do um, a YouTube binge in bed. Just to chill and just relax. And then, because we have a fan in our bedroom too. And then I just read my book. 
So that was my week. I think I got a bit of work done. I got a good release out. I was really happy with that art. And then I just kind of chilled through midsummer. You know, Log had Friday off. So we just hung out and then been dealing with the warmth. <laughs> so warm. But that is the finished spread. And I really love the way this week came out. Um, it's very shiny. <laughs> but also, I think it looks very summery in a different way than other summer kits, which I enjoy. And I'm just so proud of this art. Uh, it's probably probably my best scene I've ever done, so very happy to have that in my planner. But um, that is everything for this week. I hope uh, you enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and also comment. I um, hope you had a good week. I hope your week of summer, like if it's start really started to be summer where you are it's not too hot but remember that i love you and i appreciate you and i hope you have a wonderful week coming up and i will see you next time bye bye my loves bye bye